what's going on guys welcome to another brown dust 2 video and this patch has been great a lot of small quality of life changes we've got the tower of wrath the tower of jealousy for evil castle to test your strength and not have to rely on elemental buffs so huge changes to this game um we've also got like the auto skill thing when you're in battle we got the option to be able to like read what certain skill effects mean so for example if i go to dalvi go to our costume you can actually click this and it'll give you this in battle or in any menu that you're looking at or skills um so a lot of cool stuff guys um and just a bunch of other little things that you'll notice but not too big of a deal right okay let's get into it so two things Elpis, our four-star magic buffer. You could get it for free. I've already attempted. Just do these tasks, right? Attempt Tower of Wrath. Attempt it three times. Tower of Jealousy. Attempt Tower of Jealousy three times. Bring her into battle ten times, and you will get a easy plus five Elpis. Please do it, guys. Very easy, very simple. She's literally the magic, the magic buffer version of Arines, literally. So, she's she's good. She um. She's a little bit better than Samei because Samei heals, but her her buff stats aren't as good as Elpis, so she's just slightly better. So, but again, free unit, so why not, right? Now, last thing I want to talk about is the potential system. So they went ahead and added a lot of like three star, four star characters and their potentials. I made a video earlier, but it kind of got too long, and I really just wanted to highlight that for the overwhelming majority. Like Bernie, Emma, uh, shoot, who else? Uh, Bernie, Emma, Julie, um, uh, yeah, Julie, Archmage, uh, who else? Is this Fred here? Yeah, Julie, Fred, Archmage, um, Lydia. Alec even, well, Alec is from last patch. Um, Gint, like for all the three-star, four-star characters, I'm going to be honest, you really don't need to do anything. It's it's just the slight stat buff. That's really it. I would say the ones you want to focus on is for one, Cry. With Cry, you get the skill range increase on his little um, ability that hits people back a couple squares, right? Two squares. And then I think for this one... Yeah, this one's just a stat increase, so not that big of a deal. So definitely for Cry, you want to focus on that. Um, the only three-star character I would say is, uh, or excuse me, four-star character is Lee Sian. So if you take a look, she heals, removes the target's dot effect. But she also gives an energy guard if you get her all the way up to her potential. Equal to 150% of your magic damage. Out of all the 3 star and 4 star characters. This is a pretty decent one. If you're like a free to play casual. And you know you want a healer. And you don't have like Diana anti-dystopian. Then sure go for this. Um, this would be pretty good. Right. So keep that in mind. Um, <clears throat> Leclise. You definitely want to do this one. You get 2 SP reduction. Uh cost reduction so it goes from six to four definitely do it if you're using laclis for pvp which most people use it for pvp right um and yeah i would say that's really about it just those three everybody else is meh they're kind of just not worth it there's other priority uh units you want to use even with same or excuse me not same um elpis she just gets like a slight stat buff which isn't even worth it Again, if you want to personally do it because you like the character and you've got the character geared the hell out, then go for it. Otherwise, the Cry costume with this bat, uh, Laclise uh, costume, uh, which is, what is it called? I always forget what Laclise is called. I don't really use her that much. Uh, yeah, Laclise's killer dog costume and then the four-star Lysian uh, for the energy guard. That would be my recommendation for the new potential... Uh, units otherwise focus on other units in the past that i've talked about check my previous videos uh but yeah that's what i really recommend so go ahead and get that free that free four star unit 
Um, check out my videos on whether you should pull for Therese and Dalvi. Um, I made a guide for both in one video. Um, you've seen my Dalvi though. I have plus five, so that kind of gives you a sneak peek into how I feel about Dalvi. She is pretty incredible, and I think I actually have her. Hang on. Yeah, I've got her completely upgraded. So me personally, I have her completely upgraded, even though her stats are... Oh, okay, well, she had SP consumption reduced by one. Okay, so that's why. But yeah, guys, check out those videos. Let me know if you got any questions or comments, and I am out. Later.